This is a tutorial on how to use logarithms with a calculator. Now let's start off with the first example. So here we have log of a thousand. Now if you don't see a base with the log, it's assumed to be 10. So log of a thousand is the same thing as log with a base of 10 of a thousand. Now let's evaluate that on the calculator. Now whenever you use this log button on the calculator, it always does a base of 10. So we don't need to worry about the base, we just say log of 1000 and then hit enter. So for us we can see that log of 1000 or log with a base of 10 of 1000 equals 3. Now what if the base isn't 10? How can we do that? Well we'll see with the next example. Now this time we have log with a base of 3 of 81. Now the calculator only does log with a base of 10, so we need to change this a little bit in order to evaluate it on our calculator. Well, what we could do is we could utilize a logarithmic property. So log with a base of 3 of 81 is the same thing as doing log of 81 divided by log of 3. So let's put that into our calculator. So we have log 81 divided by log of 3 and hit enter. Now we could see that that gives us a result of 4. Now let's take a look at one more example. So here we have the natural log of e cubed. Well the natural log is just like any other logarithm but it's a log with a base of e. So natural log of e cubed is the same thing as log with a base of e of e cubed. Now let's do that on our calculator. So here on the left hand side right below the log button we have the natural log button represented by ln. So we could hit that and now we need to put in e cubed. Well this lowercase e is a special constant and we actually have it on our calculator right here in blue. So in order to reach it, we need to hit the second button and then hit the divided button. And that gives us our lowercase e. Now it still needs to be raised to the third power, so we'll raise it to the third power and then close the parentheses. So now we have the natural log of e cubed. And then to get the result, we'll hit enter. And that gives us a result of 3. And that sums up how you would use logarithms on a calculator.